So do you have Raynaud's syndrome or is it another type of circulatory problem? This is a common thing that we have to deal with because so many of the patients that we see have circulation problems. So Raynaud specifically is a problem that's going to be related to vasoconstriction. So the blood vessels are going to get small, particularly the ones in the periphery. The smallest ones are going to show first, so those are going to be fingers, toes and they're going to be responsive to cold. So one of the ways that we check to see if it is in fact Raynaud's is we give people a cold stimulus to see if it induces a hyperkinetic vasoconstriction response, too much constriction of the blood vessels. That's when you'll see it get white, and then we get a rebound where they have to hyperdilate, and that causes some of the other color changes into red and blue. We can also see the same thing happen with emotional stimuli. You scare somebody, they can do the same thing. So those are kind of the two main features of Raynaud's. We also may see color changes that are more common with pooling of blood. And usually that happens in the legs, especially if we sit someone up on a, like a bedside table and we raise them up so their feet don't touch. You can see that pooling really uh, accentuate down into the legs. This is gonna be more of like a blue or a purple sort of a look. And sometimes there will be a modeled appearance. And what modeling mean is, means is where it isn't like a solid color, it'll be speckled. And a lot of times the speckles almost look white. And in those types of patterns, we're seeing more of the opposite where the, the blood vessels are dilating to the point where the blood is sinking into the extremity and it's not being returned back through the veins. While the, the look can be the same and people will throw the terms around, kind of interchangeably, it's really helpful to dial that in because they're, they're kind of almost op opposing types of problems where we have one, we have vasoconstriction, mostly related to the cold. And in the other case, we're looking at blood pooling, which is more relative to the vasodilation where the blood vessels are dilating.